Hey, this is Ralph. In our last video, we worked on doing some basic positioning. I want to continue on with that. And in fact, this video is not going to be necessarily any more complicated than the last one. I want to position my logo, my pretend logo, in my search box in the appropriate spot. So challenge yourself to see if you can go through these steps on your own. What do I need to do in order to solve this problem? I want the logo to be pretty close to where it is naturally, but I want this search box to be up here in the upper right corner. So I'm going to head down to my logo, give myself room to work, put this on a separate line, and I want to position this logo. Position absolute. Okay. And then where do I want it to be? Well, I want it to be, let's say, five pixels from the top and five pixels from the left. Let's go ahead and give that a try. All right, that's what I want. Position absolute for that logo. And I'm going to refresh. Oh man, look at that. My logo popped all the way up over here. What caused that problem? Okay, so if you want to position something absolutely, you need to look at its parent. Okay, my logo is inside of my header. So my div ID logo is inside of my div ID header. Since I want to position absolutely the logo, I need to position relative the header. Okay, so I'm going to head up to my header rule. There it is right up there. Position relative. Just making that change. Refresh. Now the logo is where I want. Similar to the search box. Okay. So my search box position absolute okay but this one I think I will do uh, five pixels from the top and then from the right five pixels there we go now my search box is over here in that upper right corner now check this out I have a relative I have a flexible width web page going on here so if I resize this web page it'll resize see my header my main content, my footer, they expand and they contract. But notice that my search box is always in the top right corner of the header. So that's one of the benefits of doing a, uh, a position like this. You can be really sure. Now there is also some risk associated with this. If I had other content in here like a headline or a title banner or something like that, I do run the risk of my absolutely positioned element overlapping some other element. So you need to be very cautious about that. Now I've set up a min width on my site so that it won't go any smaller than I think 800 pixels. That would help ensure that I didn't have a problem. But if you start to position things absolutely on a web page, you need to experiment and look at your web page under different resolutions to find out if your positioned elements are negatively impacting the display of your site. You don't want your design to look bad for some people at a certain browser resolution just because it looked great at your 1680 wide resolution. So those are positioned. Now last but not least is the social networking icons. This is where, where the other stuff pops in that I want to show you. So I'm going to go to my social networking icons and because you guys are smart we know that our content is going to need position relative. So I'm going to take care of that right now and then I can go down to my social icons a separate line Position absolute. Yep, that's good. Top 20 pixels, right 0 pixels. Now I want you to check this out real quick. Save, refresh. Here we go. Now this is an issue where I could potentially have some concern about my social networking icons overlapping some text content that might be underneath. Now there would be a way to solve that. I could make sure that my main content area, this green box, had a, a uh, padding on the right that was at least as big as the width of this social networking icon. So I could do something like that. Let me show you something else you can do with this positioning. What if I, let's see, my social network icons are 50 pixels wide. What if I position it to the right 50 pixels? Let's see what happens there. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That is 50 pixels from the right. What if I do this? negative 50 pixels, save, refresh. 
Ooh, let me knock it over a little bit more. This uh, black border is about 10 pixels thick, so let me just go about 60. Let's see how that looks. And let me just go a few more. I'll do like, well, if I can click here, 65. Save, browser, refresh. There we go. So now my social networking icons are positioned in relation to the the, to the main content, this green box, but they appear outside of it because of that negative positioning. Here's what I like about this. Since I have a flexible width design, if my website is wider, social networking icons stay with it. If it's narrower, can't see it now, social networking icons stay with it. So I've positioned something in relation to its content, even though it appears to the visitor that it's outside of that content. So that can come in handy in a lot of different situations. So don't forget, you can do that kind of stuff. Have fun.